This is Eyewitness News with live breaking news. Now at 11, the 4th of July is a fitting day to unveil the Freedom Sculpture in Century City. It is a gift from the Iranian American community celebrating the cultural diversity of LA. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell was there for the big reveal, and she joins us live with more now. Amy? Michelle, the Freedom Sculpture is now a permanent part of Santa Monica Boulevard. It is a massive structure, as you can see, and it will maintain that golden glow during the evening hours. It is a gift from the Iranian American community, and a crowd estimated at more than 50,000 came out for the unveiling. A fireworks spectacular in celebration of the new Freedom Sculpture, the sparkling work of public art unveiled on Santa Monica Boulevard in front of a massive crowd, many of them dancing and filled with pride. It really demonstrates the love and affection that the Iranian American community holds for this country because of all the opportunities given us. The Freedom Sculpture is a gift from the Iranian American community, a symbol of liberty and the cultural diversity of Los Angeles. We call it the Statue of Liberty for the West Coast. It's a monument to what we embody here in Los Angeles. Uh, it's a monument to diversity. Uh, um, uh, human right. The new sculpture unveiled this evening as part of a street festival in Century City. The Farhang Foundation received more than 300 submissions before choosing the design by artist Cecil Belmont. The message of shared freedom is needed now more than ever in the world, here in this country and everywhere else. It's an interpretation of an ancient Persian artifact considered to be the first declaration of human rights. This gift that we bring to America for opening the doors to us and giving us a new home on this the 4th of July, I mean, it's just beyond magical. Beyond the Freedom Sculpture was paid for with donations. More than a million people from dozens of country, countries rather, contributing more than $2 million. Reporting live in Century City, Amy Powell, ABC7 Eyewitness News.